they want me to do math season 12. Welcome to a special episode of Behind the Edit, your go-to podcast for unpacking the actual reality behind reality TV. I'm Lachlan Gurdon. And I'm Talia Pritchard. And today we were joined by one of this season's brides, Eden Harper. She shared some interesting details about her current relationship with Jaden, whether they've been in contact since announcing their breakup, and what she's currently working on now. We also learned all about what her and her co-stars have been up to since filming wrapped and since the show stopped airing. You're going to want to wait until the very end to hear a prank we played on some of her co-stars. I know people are going to love this episode. Let's just get straight into our chat with Eden. Hello, Eden. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. It's been a long time coming. Definitely a long time in the works. It's been a few months since maths now, but how is life for Eden? Yeah, it's just been really busy, to be honest. I'm still working my full-time job, so I went straight back to full-time, literally the day we finished filming, the day after we finished filming. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to work full-time, manage the new social media world, Mm. and then any other kind of opportunities I suppose that are thrown our way at the same time so yeah it's been it's been a lot trying to trying to balance it all so I'm still trying to figure that out my routine's just all over the place but I'm happy which is good yeah (laughs) I feel like a lot of people would assume that when you come off maths you're just instantly an influencer so Mm. most people would probably be surprised to know that you're still working your I'd say majority of people are still full-time like I don't I don't think many maybe Lucinda would probably be the only one that doesn't um that has like left because of of maths I suppose but I mean yeah, there, there's plenty of opportunities and stuff. It's just, yeah, you've got to make the most of it and, and yeah, do, or do with it what you want at the same time. Yeah. Like some people might not want to go down that path or they might take another route. I'm not sure. So, yeah. yeah. We do have a question about Lucinda and her career later, but firstly, to get all the messy, unfun stuff out of the way. <laughs> okay, great. We'll address Jaden really quickly. Okay. You guys obviously made it work, then broke up shortly after... Oh, just before, just before the, the show finished, finished on finished TV. Airing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Where do you guys stand now? I Any still haven't spoke to him. Well, I mean, he hasn't spoke. I tried to speak to him after the dramas, um, mm-hmm. but yeah, he um, didn't reply. So I haven't, haven't heard from him since then, so... You guys live pretty close together. Five minutes away. Is there any crossover at all? Or nah, you haven't I, run into but him? to be fair, like I'd never met him before maps, right? Yeah. And we live five minutes from each other. We really do hang out in kind of different areas. So yeah, there was one, I mean, there was an event I was meant to be going to actually um, at a certain venue and I saw he was there, so I didn't go, but yeah. Wow. <laughs> do you have to change like, coffee shops or anything? <laughs> nah, <laughs> I'd, I don't. No, I know where he goes, but I don't, I don't go there. Yeah. So we just, yeah, we've never really met and seen each other. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I'm sure if you were to post a question box on Instagram, people would be asking if you would get back together. Mm. What would you say to those people? Mm -mm. No, definitely not. I do think I'm really grateful that I was paired with him during the show. And I'm not just saying that. I genuinely am. We, I was paired with someone I liked. Like Mm. I was paired with someone I genuinely actually fell for, which is so rare. I think on that show, like, you know, usually it's a, it's a push to get through, but yeah, I felt like I was really lucky on the show and we had a really good time. We even had a good time after, obviously it wasn't perfect. And there was things that, needed working on I obviously didn't even want to break up so I I don't think that it was yeah I am grateful but I I also think that it served its purpose and um yeah our our ship sailed that's for sure I just think that yeah the disrespect I received afterwards I couldn't take someone back after that especially when he didn't apologize that's very valid probably one of his weirder moves after you guys broke (laughs) up was posting photos with your dog and acting like he had a had custody for the weekend that post has been removed i think oh it's been i don't know if it's archived or deleted but it's gone did, you obviously didn't say anything to him about it. No, it just, I said okay. something to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then it's gone. It's gone. Yeah, no. Yeah, so the, the post was custody weekend so the, with Cub, but he had not seen Cub. So I don't know. What there's the no deal foster was agreement that. going on here. There's nah, no I mean, step parenting. My, Cub is mine. I've had him since he was a baby, since he was eight weeks old. If yeah. he asked to see Cub, what would, I would you say? 100% I would let him because okay. Cub and him had a beautiful relationship and Cub was obsessed with Jaden. One thing they I really thought they were going to show on our home stays was um, Cub is usually scared of boys, especially the taller you and bigger you are. <laughs> I'm also scared of boys. <laughs> he gets it from his mum. <laughs> no, he um, he's usually petrified. The taller and the bigger, the more scary 
Yeah. And um, I kind of pre-warned everyone before homestays because when you, you think of homestays, it's not just me and Jaden going home. It's a cameraman, a sound guy, a producer, sometimes two producers. So we all kind of met Cub at the same time. And obviously Cub was so excited to see me. And he was so scared of every producer, the sound guys, the cameramen, but he could not get off of Jaden. He was obsessed with him. Wow. So I was kind of like, this is amazing. That just never happens. Usually he warms to guys. Not that he's ever met any men before. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, yeah, usually yeah. he takes some time to warm to them but yeah with Jaden he just adored him from the very beginning even when my parents saw Jaden with Cub they were like I've never seen Cub like that with a guy before wow. so I would never if he wanted to see Cub of course I would let him Cub just yeah they they had a beautiful relationship it must feel like a sign at the time too when you see that happen when yeah. you're not used to seeing your dog do that too it's kind of like oh yeah this yeah. is like mm. well my be. um my producer was saying they've met before haven't they like he didn't believe me oh, wow. and he kept thinking that we'd flown home secretly on a weekend where we get weekends off right and our yeah. curfew's 10 p.m so he's thinking they've like flown in and out in a day and gone because I asked for that to do that I asked to do that probably like five times during filming and they said no so he's like they've done it and they've just not told us because there's no way this dog like he won't come near like as the producer he's like he won't come near me yeah. but he's all over Jaden but so I was like, hey, I swear on my life, he, they'd never met before. It was crazy. But they filmed that whole interaction of him seeing him for the first time and being all over him yeah. and they just didn't use it, which is a shame. It was beautiful. <laughs> Moving on from him, mm. how is the dating scene life for Eden post-show? What's I that would like? love to know if there is a dating <laughs> scene somewhere. Someone let me know where it is. <laughs> Have there been DM slides, anything like that? Like not a DM slide that you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So no other reality, uh, any other reality stars sliding in or... Well-known um, names. Blue ticks. P I'll pass on that one. Okay. <laughs> Plead the fifth. <laughs> Would you be open to dating again or are you kind of yeah, having some yeah, new time? Definitely. What's that like? I think maybe straight after everyone could see how upset I was. I think I've, I've like done some podcasts. I've talked online. Everyone, you know, I was pretty open about like heartbreak and whatnot, um, which I'm glad I did that, to be honest. I'm glad I didn't keep it to myself. But um, at that time, probably not. But it's been, I think it's been three months now. We broke yeah. up in March. What are we in? June yeah yeah so it's been over three months now I feel like I've I, I've accepted it I've moved on from it it's okay but I just don't know where you meet people as a 29 year old woman I don't know I'm not on apps for you yeah you, yeah you're not on apps no not say. on no. apps and I don't party so like where where do you need to go back on a reality dating show maybe <laughs> maybe we're gonna have to go around to <laughs> love island Stranded on Honeymoon Island, anything yeah. like that. That's Stranded. the new show coming out. Might be okay. bigger than MAFS. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, yeah. it's like MAFS a mix vibes. between MAFS and Survivor, apparently. So Love you that. Get, like, yeah, dumped that on That actually sounds fun. Because I feel on? like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> 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 I feel like I would love Survivor, but I would be terrible at it. I'd be crying on the first day wanting my hair dryer. Yeah, I'd so. Be and it, um, one of my girlfriends has been on maths. Uh, sorry, not maths. One of my girlfriends has been on Survivor a couple of times. And Ooh. I remember saying to her, it's fine though, because you can brush your teeth, right? She's like, no, you can't brush your teeth either. And I was <laughs> like, oh, okay, I couldn't do it then. No, no way. <laughs> Who is this person that's been on a couple uh, Abby of times? Abby Holmes. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. She's one of my good friends, yeah. And she's dominated Survivor. So dominated. if you're going to go on, you got some tips from her. I've got, yeah, but I, I'm nothing. She's a, she's a freak that I could not do that. You I can't. couldn't not brush my teeth for 24 hours. There's no, no chance. No, I would hate it. Let alone 45 days or whatever it is that yeah. they're out there. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot. If you get a DM slide from a blue tick person or a reality star, hypothetically, have you written back to them? Would you write back to them or are you a leave on red kind of person? <laughs> It depends. Like if it's someone that I would be friends with, I, I would chat or if it's someone that I would be interested in, I would chat for sure. But um, yeah, I haven't really found anyone that I'm interested <laughs> in at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think being on maths and dating Jaden has changed your type at all? Or would you say you have a type? Jaden was my type before, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, he actually was, which is like, I, I kind of wish that kind of person wasn't my type because it clearly doesn't work for me. Um, I always go for a really like over the top, confident, almost arrogant. Jaden would say he's arrogant. So that's not a mean thing to say about him. A, an, an arrogant kind of um, character like that. And yeah. um, I, I, I like the big athletic builds and a bit scruffy. I don't like clean cut. So Jaden was my type to a T. And I think I kind of played it cool a little bit on the wedding day because I think even the producers were like, does she like him? I was like... Oh my God, they gave me everything I wanted. <laughs> Do you think then after that relationship, you've taken on lessons that you want in your mm. next relationship? To be honest, I feel like 
uh, I learned those lessons from the relationship before Jaden, but mm. those people, those two people probably had a lot of similarities. Um, and I still find I'm just drawn to, to people like him. I really am. And there's, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with someone like him, but it's clear that that kind of person doesn't work for me. So I do probably need to try something different. Maybe like a shy, okay. nerdy guy yeah. or something. Yeah. <laughs> Bring Beauty and the Geek back or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Yeah, no more athletes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, moving on from dating, yeah. Jaden. Post maths, you said you've gone back to your regular job, mm-hmm. I guess, and people are quite surprised at that and not making influencing work. Well, not not making influencing yeah. work, but so many people think it's a full time job. Yeah. Do you ever see it going into full time for you? I think it could go full time. Um, I don't know. I've been doing my job for such a long time, and I, I feel like I've worked my way up in what I'm doing that I don't kind of just want to throw it in. Um, at the chance that maybe influencing could, you know, I I think I always will be someone that wants to do, have a lot of different things going on, not just one, but at the moment I I've bitten off more than I can chew. Definitely. Like I need to kind of work it out. So I'm thinking of kind of stepping back at my work a little bit, maybe going down to three or four days. Um, so I can put more time onto, into social media. And then I'm also starting my own business as well. So, um, which has been in the works for a while. So yeah. Th- those are the three things, but I don't think I'll leave uh, at this point yeah. anyway, but ask me in a year. We'll see. Can you talk about the new yeah. business venture? Yeah. So as everyone knows, I'm a big dog lover, love animals, especially dogs, all dogs. Um, golden retrievers are number one though, <laughs> but we're doing dog beds. Um, it'll essentially be a, a dog uh, brand that will cover collars, leads, beds, but we're going to start with, with yeah. just beds. Um, but we really want to do... I don't know. We want them to have like other features other than just the standard bed that you kind of get at every, every store. Um, but I also am really big on, I love my house to look really nice and have nice furniture. And I don't, I don't love when the dog bed's just there and it makes your room look really daggy. So I want like a really nice aesthetically pleasing bed as well, but also one that's really good for your dogs. Cause I I want cub to be comfortable and and happy. So how long has this been in the works? Um, to be honest. So my brother works, um, in I don't I don't really know how to explain what he does to be honest, but he does he works with ecom companies um, to help list them on the stock market and do and do things like that. So yeah. he he's really in the digital space already. So he's done a lot of that kind of stuff, and it was more him wanting to do this, and then I've kind of jumped on board with him, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, how fun. <laughs> so he's probably been working on it for long, longer than me. I've I've been since maths finished, yep. so that was end of last year. But he was probably for another six months before that yeah. as well. And do we have a launch time? What are we thinking? I'm thinking it'll probably be about two months from now, okay. eight weeks from now. Like the bulk's been ordered. We're just waiting for everything to arrive. Like the website's done. Everything's sort of ready yeah. to go. Exciting. So, yeah. It Stay is. Tuned. I'm very excited. <laughs> Speaking of the influencing stuff, there yeah. we were talking about how Lucinda has made it quite big and can probably quit her day job to do the influencing side of things. There's a lot of rumors that the rest of the cast were quite jealous about this. Have you heard anything from anyone that verify those rumors? Has anyone no. been jealous or is it all just I love think, and support? I think it's love and support for Lucinda. I mean, I can't speak on behalf of everyone, but if there's anyone that deserves the success from the show, it's Lucinda. Um, she's an icon, a, a national treasure. So yes. I think that, you know, she should thrive and she is thriving. So yeah, I don't, I can't see why anyone could be, how, how anyone could be jealous of Lucinda. But I also think with the cast, Everyone has their own niches. Like Lucinda's not competition for anyone else. Yeah. Like she's in her own lane and everyone else, like I'm in my own, everyone's in their own lane. Like there's no, yeah, there's no competition around here. We're all just doing our own thing and trying to make it work for ourselves. Yeah. There was an article recently about how Lucinda and Timothy unfollowed each other yes. on Instagram. Timothy spoke out about it and said mm-hmm. only two or three people knew the real reason why. Mm-hmm. Are you one of those people, Eden? No, I'm not from Timothy's side. No, okay, I but have. You've got some insight to Lou a little bit, but I think I'll leave that for Lou to to speak. Okay. I think Lou's pretty upset by it. I think she really wants to stay friends, as far as I know. But yeah, were you surprised when you heard that they had a falling out? Um, yes and no. Um, I really did think they'd be friends for life, but. Timothy's pretty rogue sometimes, you know, he's got really strong opinions and good for him. But I think, yeah, sometimes it can, um, you know, he's pretty certain if, if he thinks this is wrong, then it is wrong. And, you know, um, he goes hard on that. So I, I guess if he yeah, has an opinion on something, he's just going to 
go for it. I think we did see that stubborn side of him on the show too, right? Even he didn't want to take take advice from anyone younger than him. (laughs) No, (laughs) like with Jaden, he was like, I'm not listening to any of these guys with man buns or whatever. Especially with Jaden, he's like, you live at home with your mom. I'm not taking advice from (laughs) you. Oh, gosh. Other people trying to dabble in the influencing space or making their fame on the show kind of work out Collins has released a bit of a merch line um have you bought anything Slay. from it I have not bought anything from Collins's merch line and I and I won't be um okay. but- <laughs> brutal <laughs> But I think everyone, if you want to make try and make a business work, you got to do what you got to do to make that coin. So go for it, Collins. Has anyone made any questionable career decisions post the show that you're like, hmm, I don't know if you should be doing that? Not really. I think the T-shirts was probably one that I, I thought was pretty funny from Collins. But at the same time, like they were such iconic quotes. Yeah. So I'm like. What a day. Say, go get him. <laughs> Good for him. Yeah. I think it was just the signing of his name underneath. Oh, like, was you need it? The, you need like the slogan and just let it speak and on then its did own. He sign but I think there was like a kind of like Collins thing oh my gosh, that Like a signature. Hilarious. That's so funny. <laughs> that, yeah, they were pretty funny quotes. So good for him. But yeah. No, I, I won't be wearing them on a Saturday night anytime soon. <laughs> Someone that we had on the show recently, Madeline. Mm-hmm. We are super fans of Madeline. But I've she, heard <laughs> she wasn't really a part of your season. She's been doing psychic readings for s- some people. She was on an Instagram live with Harrison the other day. I heard about that, but Madeline's blocked like the whole cast. Really? Oh, okay. I was going to yeah. ask about your relationship with her, but there's none. No. I wanted to see if we could tee up a psychic reading with you guys. Oh, she just... if she wants. I, I I like Madeline. She was nice. I never... The interesting thing about some of the people that were only there for a week or so, you what people don't understand is that we only see them at the dinner parties and yeah. the commitment ceremonies. Commitment ceremonies, you don't have a chance to one-on-one talk to anyone. And at the dinner parties, if you're seated not near them, unless you get up and go and sit with them, you don't. Madeline was only at one dinner party and I didn't have one conversation with her. And that's probably my fault. I'm not blaming her because I kind of keep to myself and kept to Jaden all the time. He was kind of like my safety blanket. So I really didn't put myself out there to kind of get to know everyone else except for those people that were there for a long time so that's probably one thing I do regret about the show not necessarily just Madeline but others like I don't think I ever had a conversation with uh, a one-on-one Ash, Ben, like multiple people Hmm. not just her so that's my own fault for just clinging to (laughs) Jaden. I think when the intruders come into it's usually when the group dynamics are starting to hit peak level of drama I imagine as well then intruders are thrown in and there's probably so much going on that you kind of forget they're new people that have just walked into the experiment for the first time I think looking back like if I was an intruder I would have been so intimidated walking in there so I kind of wish that you know I probably gave more of a warm welcome um but I obviously met Jade on the wedding day so yeah I kind of more I guess made her feel welcome and maybe not so much the others but that wasn't for any reason other than I'd already made that connection with her on that day yeah but I I would take a psychic reading from Madeline moral of the story I can't get over that she's blocked the whole cast so you're officially blocked Um, from Maddie yeah damn okay yeah I don't know why I've never spoke to her (laughs) maybe she'll watch and unblock and then we can tee up the psychic reading yeah yeah have a chat have a chat you mentioned Jade just then. I know you guys are good friends. Yes, my girl. She is with Ridge still. Jono's mm-hmm. still with Ellie. Jack is still with Tori. They're the yeah. only three couples from this season. Gold Coast crew. Yeah. Who do you think will be the first to break up? <laughs> <laughs> God, you're really putting me in it here. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to say, I'm not going to say who's the first to break up, but I think that, I really hope they all last, to be honest. I think they're all great couples. Like, they all get along really well. And, Potentially they all will. I could actually see them all being together forever, but the ones who I know will be together forever is Ellie and Jono. Mm. Like okay. uh, there's not even like a slight doubt in wow. my mind with those two. They're just so suited. It's not what I asked, but that's okay. <laughs> um. I'm like bouncing around the question. <laughs> Deflection. <laughs> I don't need people coming after me yeah. after this. <laughs> Let's take a quick break and then yep. we've got something fun planned. Yes, we do. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> So we were just chatting in the break and we thought, because you're still really good friends with a lot of your co-stars, yeah. we thought it'd be fun to prank a few of them yeah. and see who answers, see who picks up. Yeah. What if you tell them that you've been asked to go back on maths, <laughs> see what their thoughts Season are? Season 12, here I come. Yeah. <laughs> we can add in some things like, 
I don't know, maybe it's an all-star season. Yeah. Like maybe Jaden. Jaden's going to be there. Yes. Yeah. Jaden's coming back. $100,000 you've been offered. <laughs> maybe you could ask to be at Love, Love Island. Like we can throw in all these yeah. things. Who see what they say. Who do you think is likely to pick up though Steven. right now? Steven. He's got today off. I know that for sure. And Steven is hilarious. Like people didn't really see that, but he's so funny. What do you think his reaction will be then? I don't know. I'm not sure. I remember him saying like, I'd never do something like that again. So it's, it'll yeah. be interesting to see what he thinks for me. Do we even float that? They're asking you to go in as like surprise intruder bride because <laughs> he was the intruder, so he would have like intruder yeah, tips, maybe. Or I could even say like, oh, they just want me to go in to spice things up, you know, like try and stir the pot. Yeah, yeah. I'm like the least <laughs> controversial. Person. I don't know if you believe that. And Stephen was so chill too, and he's like, any advice? And he'd be like, um, <laughs> yeah. You me and Stephen were like the quietest people on there. You could be like, oh, I want you to be my best man or something. Like they've suggested that you're at the wedding as <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah. Okay, let's give okay. him a call. All right, all right. See what he says. I'll speak for it as well. I'm like nervous. I need to not laugh because then he'll know it's we can't laugh either. Serious. So I texted him last night and I said I need to call you tomorrow. So he doesn't know what it's about because we hadn't decided what the prank was going to be. Yeah. Hello. Hi, doll. How are you? Good. Um, I thought I was keeping up with your morning. Yeah, I know chaos getting to Sydney today. Honestly, but oh. do you know why I had to come here? No. Yes, this is why I needed to ring you, but I was too busy last night. So I had a call yesterday and they've flown me to Sydney today because they want me to do math season 12. No way. Yeah. Oh my God, I love that. You think I should do it? Uh, I don't know. Like, what, what are you thinking? I don't know. Were you, like, what was your first reaction? Were you like, yeah, I'm keen for it or were you traumatised? Well, I do have trauma, but also like dry spell, you know? Yeah. Um, oh my God, what the f***? So should I, do you, pros and cons, pros and cons me, what do you think? Well, like pros, more like, I mean, love aside, more air time. Um, you could potentially find a match. Yeah. You are uh, like going to be super rich and famous. <laughs> <laughs> um, cons, you might not get as good a, an edit as what you did first time, or like fair point. Good a run. Mm-hmm. You, but like, wait. So, do you think that I run. I could potentially like? You think I'm a? Uh, no, I, I don't think I know. It. Are you? <laughs> no. But like, what if you get a hell dud match? No, um, but then this is what I heard. I don't know if this is true or not, though. But. They, I, I've heard the idea that they might be doing like an all star season. So then, like, I feel like Jaden might be going back with someone else as well. Mm, so it's like a, a like ex on the beach type situation. Yeah, and like, do you think I could hold myself back from like being nice? Um. Yeah. Like. Uh, yeah. You, you are such a composed person. You absolutely wouldn't be throwing shit across the table. Um, I don't know. Jaden gets me rolled up. Yeah, I don't know. Why? What are your pros and cons? Like, first off the cuff, pros and cons. You well, the thought. biggest pro is they, they said they'd pay me 100 grand. Oh, my God. F***ing done. <laughs> so you think I should do it then? <laughs> um, well, what else? What, like, that's a, huge, that's a huge incentive. Wait, and then they also, they said to me, like, is there anyone from the show that would, like, be my, be- like, Maid of honor, kind of thing. Yes. So, I will be there. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, this is a piss take. I'm, I'm doing the Yahoo podcast. You're on speaker. Oh, f- you. <laughs> hey, Steven. Hi, Steven. <laughs> I was so excited. I was so excited for the 100,000. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was 100,000. Hilarious. That was so good. He had such is a good answer. airtime? <laughs> Accurate though. Yeah. Money, airtime. Yeah. Why not? And I, I just laughed so much. The bee's like, you could get a worse edit. So I'm like, so you think that I'm me? He's like, yeah, <laughs> <I'm> funny. <laughs> but again, for a hundred thousand dollars. I know. And yeah, as soon as I said hundred k, he's like, done. You're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'll be there, maid of honor. Oh, so if the producers funny. are listening though, like an X on the beach style maths season. Yeah. That sounds great. It actually would be. I could picture it. 
I don't think I could do like a maths all stars though, because I just don't think there's anyone from any other season that I would want to be paired with. No. Oh, have you guys seen Perfect Match on Netflix where they bring people from a bunch of different dating yeah, shows true. all oh, yeah. together? That so could it could cool. be like the Australian version of like okay, all the reality Love shows. Island people, yeah. Yeah, Boy Bachelor. Island, Bachelor. It could be like a whole hybrid. That's actually situation. a really good idea. You should pitch this yeah. to Channel 9. That's and a really you'd sign good on? And Demol Shine, call us. I don't know. I feel like trauma from those shows, you know? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Maths as well. It's a really long time. Like you film for three months. It's just like, it's such a long time to be out of your routine and not training and all of that. And I just, yeah, I did struggle with that, but I don't know. Never say never. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right here first. So should we try Lou or do we not have time? Yeah. Yeah. Let's give her a call. All let's right. See what happens. So we're going to do the same. Do you think exactly the same or do I, do I change anything? Um, I feel like I think I, that went so well. Maybe I've met someone new. I want to get married next week. Could you be my celebrant? I know you're still in Australia before you go on your tour. And what, what do I say his name is? Lachlan. If you need me, I'll put on my straight voice. <laughs> Wait, so, so I should just say, yeah, like I've met this guy. Am I being crazy to rush into it? But like he wants to elope next week. Like I'm not going to tell my family. I'm just going to do it. And I just need your advice because you're not my family. Yeah. Beautiful. Let's do that. She may not answer, but we'll give it a, we'll give it a try. She doesn't. It's Hi, lovely. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm just deep in uh, in, in writing. Um, yeah, a couple of meetings this, this afternoon. It's all business, business. Uh, do you have any spare time at all in the next month? <laughs> um, p- probably not. Right. At the moment, it's just so mental, head down, bum up sort of thing. Yeah, so, just working. Well, I but, need some motherly advice if I can just cut in here. Yeah. Yeah, so I feel like if I tell my parents, they'll say that I'm an idiot, but I've met this guy and I'm Ooh. just like completely in love. Like he's amazing, but he wants to elope next week. And I feel like I want to do it. Wow. Should I How do long it? Have you known him? How long have you known him? Like we met like a week ago. Do you think that it will just be fun for your socials and something like wild and radical and... No, like, I actually love him. Like, I've fully fallen in love. I oh, know, but remember, you fell in love with Jaden and it took a while to get to know him, you know? So you don't think I should do it? Well... I was, that's why I was like, asking if you had spare time, because I was like, you could be the celebrant for us. Oh, mate, I, there's no way. I'm so flat out. I, I mean, it's super cute. Also, you need, you need 30 days um, to actually certify a wedding like you need to do it 30 days out you've got to do a whole lot of paperwork right so it's i haven't like really a, thought this through like have America. i it's not like america where you do a fly by las vegas wedding it, it just doesn't work like that in australia you need 30 days i just feel like you would love him <laughs> i'm 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 sure um yeah i mean but i just yeah i mean look you're the only one that can make your decisions I mean I think it's really fun to be reckless in your 20s and 30s and make wild decisions I'm not going to say don't do it but I probably I can't I just won't have time for a while (laughs) but do does it have your tick of approval if I do decide to do it Mm, I just saw you with Jaden you were so into him and it took you a while to get to know him even it takes a while to know somebody and if they're actually going to be good for you. Oh, my what God, Lou, talking? I'm just – this is a joke. <laughs> I'm on the Yahoo podcast and you're on speaker. We were just taking the piss to oh see how you would God. react. <laughs> Hi, Lucinda. Hi, Lucinda. Good acting, Eva. Was it good? <laughs> yeah. I was, like, I was like semi between like it's great to be reckless. I get where you're at, but also – um, I'm a little concerned. Yeah, I could hear the concern in your voice. And then when I was asking you to be the celebrant, you're like, no, Eden. I was also like trying to sort of pass the buck on to you. It's your decision. I didn't want to make it you. But I, I was deeply concerned. I, just, I, I, you know, and also a little perplexed because you're such a considered person really yeah I'm yeah I think things through a lot like I'm not usually very reckless at all but I was like surprised that you didn't ask more questions about the guy so I kept going back to like yeah like he's amazing I thought you were gonna say like what's his name what does he do <laughs> but you're just like yeah I'm, I can't sorry <laughs> I'm like I was just a little bit stuck on the um 
Yeah, like uh, I think wanting to encourage your recklessness. <laughs> she is that the was best. amazing. What an icon. That was so cute. She's like, you need to make those decisions for yourself. <laughs> Bless her. That I love was the her. best. She's just always so honest still without ever sounding like cut in or put down. Or, yeah, you know, like it was anything. so supportive. When she's kind of like, you were in love with Jaden. Yeah, she was like, without saying like, don't do this all over again, Eden. But she was kind of saying that, but in like yeah. in the nicest way possible. God, she's amazing. I know. Bless I need her. a lesson in communication with her. Just yeah. <laughs> next time I'm going through a relationship breakup. Yeah. Or anything. Oh, she's, I actually do ring her for advice all the time. So I feel like she wouldn't have found that. That, that was genuine. Yeah. Strange for me to ring her and be like, what do I do here? But usually it's not, I'm going to get married. <laughs> Oh, oh, classic. I Love feel like that. that was the perfect way to end this chat. Thank yeah. you so much for coming on, Eden. Thanks Thank for having you. me. Appreciate it. It was great. That was so fun. The best. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. So Behind the Edit is brought to you by Yahoo Australia, hosted by Lachlan Gurdon and Talia Pritchard. Produced by Katie Brown. Social production by Alexa Tubatini. Yahoo Australia would like to acknowledge the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, the traditional owners of the land on which this podcast was recorded, and pay our respects to elders past and present.